The outermost layer of the GI tract is the serous membrane layer, or the serosa layer, known as the peritoneum. The visceral layer of the peritoneum lines the digestive organs, and the parietal layer of the peritoneum lines the abdominopelvic cavity. Between the two, a lubricating fluid, known as peritoneal fluid, is secreted. There are also a series of extensions of the serosa layer. The greater omentum lies over the coils of the large and small intestines and is sometimes known as the fatty apron because of the large amounts of adipose it contains. The greater omentum arises from the greater curvature of the stomach. The lesser omentum suspends the stomach and the duodenum from the liver. It arises from the lesser curvature of the stomach. The mesentery uh, travels from the small intestines to bind it to the abdominal wall on the posterior side and thus connects the loops of the small uh, intestine. When the small intestine is spread apart, uh, one can see the mesentery which binds it. There is a mesocolon which attaches uh, to the large intestine and binds it to the parietal peritoneum. Finally, there is a falciform ligament from the liver to the anterior abdominal wall and the diaphragm. These extensions of the serosa help to anchor the various organs of the GI tract.